You might not know it, but there is a lot of magic and sleight of hand involved in being a politician. For instance, you have to know how to make CSIS files disappear into thin air. Now, with a little tour through history and a look at some of our past prime ministers, please welcome a very talented and funny guy. As a comedian, he's appeared on numerous television shows and at the Montreal International Comedy Festival just for laughs. As a magician, he's the author of over a dozen books on magic and is considered one of the world's best. Please welcome David Acker. The Canadian loony, or as I like to call it, an American nickel. <laughs> That's because of the exchange. One coin, ladies and gentlemen. There's a loony on one side, a queen on the other, but absolutely nary a prime minister. Of course, the uh, loony is not the only dollar we've ever had. At one time, anybody over 10 will remember another piece we like to call the dollar bill. Mm. Of course, the dollar bill also had a queen on it. In fact, the first Canadian bill that has a man on it is the Canadian Five. And that man, of course, is Albert Einstein. Because <laughs> he looks like Laurier. And if you don't think they captured his hair quite right on the front, they more than made up for it with the bird on the back. If you take a Canadian $5 bill and you add a zero to it, watch carefully. You get a 50. Ooh. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I should tell you right now, this is actually... Oh, thank you. No need to applaud, folks. It is sleight of hand. If I could really do this, I wouldn't be here. A $50 bill, ladies and gentlemen. The 50, of course, has Prime Minister Mackenzie King on it, a man who frequently conducted seances and talked to his dead mother. I think he should have been on the loony. <laughs> yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, a look at what our $100 bill will look like in the new millennium. Congratulations to all our finalists. I have your prize money right here in my hand. <laughs> Good night, everybody.